Hey, what's up, guys? Mario 2011 started, and uh, to kick off the year, we got Season of the Witch. Now, this definitely didn't excite me when I first saw the trailer. A bunch of crap about witches, Nicolas Cage, Middle Evil Times just didn't excite me. You know, I, I already get a bunch of bullshit about witches coming for where I am. So yeah, the setting, the premise, just all didn't really, you know, intrigue me. But, you know, I saw it, and uh, it's okay. The plot is, um, it takes place in the 14th century, and Nicolas Cage and Ron Perlman are night buddies. Um, the stupid thing is, right off the bat, is that 12 years, they, they like, they're together, of, like, through 12 years of battling and, uh, you know, raping and killing children, and then one day, Nicolas Cage says, hey, what the hell? We're raping and killing children. So, Perlman and Cage and, um, the other knights go their separate ways, and, um, so those two are just, you know, kind of drifters. When they get to this town, um, they discover that this uh, plague has spread over all the land and makes people look like they've been eaten and then shit out and then eaten again and then puked out. So they blame that plague on this witch that they uh, that has been uh, captured. You know, in this movie, witches are real, which you know kind of pisses me off because I get to, the, the only people you know who I know who really believes in witches are tour guys. I don't even think they believe in the witches. Those two are asked to escort this witch with some other people to a monastery. Her fate will be decided there. But, you know, the thing is that the, she doesn't really look like a witch, and Cage, you know, kind of has some sympathy toward her. And on their journey there, demonish ways ensue. So going into it, you know, I'm kind of uh, sore on the medieval kind of uh, genre, basically because of, you know, the last few I've watched just have been boring, like Robin Hood and crap. And this movie's not boring. Um, it has some pretty entertaining, well-done scenes. And uh, I think the acting, for the most part, is okay. Especially by Ron Perlman, I think he um, does a great job in this movie. It just gets really overly hokey and um, silly. And it kind of keeps me from really kind of getting into it. I see people um, get pissed off at twists. And this is definitely the twist that will piss people off that who don't like twists. Do you think the sets and the visuals were really good and really done well and kept, and kept my interest? Like, I liked looking at the film. Except, you know, some fire that looked like shit. There's been a lot of... Didn't I say that before? Predators, yeah. The, the fire and Predators looked like crap. Come on, people. Just use real fire. I think the supporting actors weren't the best. There's some there's some good... I think the main witch person that was, you know, chick was okay. Uh, there was one kid in it that sucked. It was me who killed him. Uh, Stephen Graham are, and Christopher Lee are always good, but they're very... They have very small roles. That's really all I can remember for this movie, sorry. It's a forgettable movie. I don't recommend you see it out in theaters. I think you should rent it. I, I think it's okay. It's just enjoy. It's an, a little bit enjoyable, but it, you don't really need to see it. I think it's kind of a waste of money if you go and see, if you go and see it in theater. Just rent it. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because it's fine. It's enjoyable. It's just, you know, it's just stupid and um, nothing you need to really go out and see. So... I'd recommend, you know, wait and maybe see the Green Hornet if it's good, if I tell you it's good. Um, bye.